to me, we've still got five weeks or so until camp. And you know, we're not set yet. We continue to look at ways to make our team better. How did you read that, Rosie? I kind of read it as something that'll get overblown or people will think that that means something secret. But I, I honestly just think he doesn't have a lot to say. So he says that, which is not false at all. I think everyone's keeping their their eyes open. Who's left? Who's Who could come on the radar and who could we use? And if it's a last minute addition that makes sense, you know, team personnel wise and, and money cap wise, then they would make an addition. I don't think that's... Uh, that's any groundbreaking news. I think that that should be assumed considering he's the general manager of the team. Yeah. If something came along that made sense for your team, you would make the move, right? Um, whether who that is and, and whether that happens or not, I, I have question marks, but um, I wasn't surprised to hear him say, Nope, that's it. We're absolutely done. I know who my roster is and there's no point in having a training camp. Like I, he's not, Obviously, he's not going to say that. So it's not ground shaking news. But anytime the GM does speak in this market where you haven't heard from him in a little little while, he's going to, uh, you know, make some noise. But to me, I don't see that being any specific thing that's going to necessarily happen. Do you see anything out there that could actually come to fruition? For me, I thought of Nick Robertson just because he needs waivers now. And uh, ultimately, we saw Vasily Pod Colson get traded the other day from the Vancouver Canucks to the Oilers. And people wonder currency wise like what a robertson would fetch on the trade market i think pod colson's a perfect example he went for a fourth round pick i think if people are expecting something crazy for nick robertson it's not going to happen but from that perspective i think robertson's a guy who from now until the start of the season could be on the move i mean there's a lot of moving parts but it's all about the fringe guys i think the leafs have acknowledged indirectly that they lack a bit of depth in the bottom six, but a lot of this will be contingent on what Cowan and, and Minton specifically do in training camp. But I read that to think that maybe a guy like Nick Robertson who requested a trade, don't forget that could still be on the move over the next couple months. Yeah, potentially for what, again, like people, you know, people still see him as this high end prospect and Jason's brother and ooh, what can we get for him? And you got to realize that if you're unloading him because he doesn't fit on your roster and he hasn't come to fruition and he hasn't made enough noise or waves at the NHL level, he's probably not worth a ton right now. And as you mentioned, the, the return could be not so much, but if you you know, don't want him on your roster, don't see him being on that and to lose him for nothing on waivers, which is fairly likely for a guy like him, someone just grab him, um, you know, maybe get something in return beforehand. But I, I am interested also in in those young guys and Cowan and Minton coming into camp. I, I don't, do you see any scenario where they both make the team? Probably not. Probably it's not. tough. Yeah. I have my eyes on Cowan just, I know like, he's a little younger than Minton too. Right. Which is that honestly, everything about the guy, when I, when I hear him talk, when I see his highlights, when I just try to get a, an understanding of where he's at tells me that he should, he's going to be, should be, could be, would be on this roster. And then the only thing that makes me go, ah, oh, but maybe not is, is his age. He's just so young, but I mean, you got to remember that these kids nowadays, this isn't the nineties. Like these kids have had, super professional lives for many, many years. And, and a 20 year old with his talent level uh, could be wise above his years. And they often are sometimes when I, you know, I'm talking about having personal trainers at 12 and seeing psychologists at 15 and sports psychologists and this and that, and specialized training and hyper-focused on one sport for a long time. These kids are ready to rock at 20 sometimes. Um, and it's not like back in the day where that just doesn't ever happen because you need the time to mature. He might be ready, man, and they might agree with that. And I think that what he did this past year, he's beyond the OHL, and he's he's ready for another stepping stone. I couldn't agree more. Young man's game. Uh, I'm all for the ideology. Hey, try to make the team. If you can prove that you belong, then you're going to be on this team. And to their credit, uh, regardless of who's been in charge the last couple of years, the Leafs have done that. <laughs> Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, we got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.